So if it's been a few weeks now since we announced that you've come back to Sheffield United, how does it feel to be back? No, it's been amazing. It's felt like I haven't really been away, to be honest. Um, and I've really loved kind of every week that I've been here so far. Uh, it's been about five or six. And yeah, like I said, it just felt like I've come back home. How's pre-season been going so far? Uh, really well. Uh, we've gone undefeated, which is, is brilliant. Uh, we've had a few draws here and there uh, and a good good wins. Uh, and for us to kind of go undefeated in, in pre-season is amazing to kind of build into the season going forward now. How's the team looking? I imagine when you come back, there was one or two familiar faces, but quite a few new ones as well. Yeah, no, it's looking really good. Like you said, we've got some older faces that are still here, that have been here a while, uh, and that gives us stability. Uh, but now we've got some youngsters coming through, uh, and these youngsters are very good girls. Um, I've seen them playing now week in, week out, and just coming off the bench and making impacts and stuff like that, to now last week they were starting. Uh, and for me, that just shows kind of how Redders values kind of the older players and the youth players mixed together. It's not just one-sided. Uh, and for us, that's really good going forward with the legacy of, of Sheffield United women. How much of an honour then will it be to be leading out this group of players as the captain once again? Yeah, um, obviously I did it prior when I was here and I didn't think I was going to get it again but obviously I played under Redders before uh, we won the league before together and he's top manager top person and I couldn't think of anyone better to do it for and it's kind of an honour to come back and do it again and hopefully I can do well and hopefully we can build on what the girls did last season and imagine that was a big pull to come back as well not only come back to Sheffield United but Neil Redfern too yeah exactly uh, like I said he's, he's like a dad uh, he's a top bloke top manager um, I've loved playing for him before in the past and you kind of get what you see with him really, uh, he's old school but I, I love that um, and he gets the best out of the, the players that we've got here, uh, like you know we haven't got the biggest budget but the girls here all have heart and passion like he does and he kind of leads from the front with that. So We're talking here at Bramall Lane, so how much are you looking forward to now playing here at Bramall Lane on a regular basis? Yeah, the regular basis thing's amazing, obviously we've played here a few times and getting the crowds and stuff here, it's been amazing, the pitch is great. Uh, I think it will really suit us as a team. Yeah, it's nice and big. We can play football on it. And, yeah, hopefully if we can get a few fans down, it, it's really going to kind of boost us on and, and give us that support that we need. Obviously, playing some top teams this, this year, and I think the league's kind of open. And, and playing on this pitch here, we kind of haven't got an excuse now to not play football. And off the back of what happened during the summer of England winning the European Championships, of course, and season ticket sales are here of have gone up as well, you know, it's never been a better time to go and watch Sheffield United women, I'd imagine. Yeah, what the girls did is amazing, what they've done for women's football and what they're hopefully going to do for girls in schools and stuff like that uh, on social media, it's, it's been fantastic and, and like I said, we've sold kind of a record number of season tickets now, so people are actually investing into it, they're excited and hopefully we can put on a show for them. And the season's not too far away, it's a tough league as we know from, from last season, but also a very open league as well, what are the aims for going this season? Uh, to get promoted, I think that's been the aim for a long time. Um, obviously, you struggled in, in previous seasons that money's always going to be a factor in these things, but I think we've got the heart, we've got the talent and we've got the people here to, to drive us forward and I, I really believe that this squad can do something special and hopefully I'll be at the forefront of that.